Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm about to start my live stream in an hour, but before I do that, I just want to run through my portfolio here with all of you so this way I can show you what's going on because today it's one a very exciting day because essentially everything is green across the board except only a few companies, a uh, few things that I own. So I want to run through uh, some of the decision that I'm uh, with my portfolio. I'm going to I'm going to essentially streamline them, and uh, so it's just been a good week. So I'll start with the first one here, um, Altera Group. I actually bought uh, four more share. If you saw the video from yesterday, I only had four shares. I bought four more, so it become eight. Uh, so I essentially moved my average. The only reason I did that is to move my average closer to $40.60. I think Altera Group is one of the steel at the, the, a price this low is a great steal. And I'm continuing to grow Altera Group. One, it's good for my margins. Um, it's only 30% margins. And then plus it had really good dividends, uh, $0.98. Cents and a good yield, almost 10% 10, 10 yield here according to Charles Schwab. And uh, I really enjoy this uh, 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 ticker MOs, all right? Vici property, I haven't really done anything. I bought one, but uh, the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to buy uh, one more, you know, by the end of the month or something like that. Uh, I just, I bought one. I haven't really add on to it. Uh, so MO, Vici, and Realty, all these uh, uh, REIT uh, and all these, uh, company here that I just mentioned, they all essentially, I'm going to put resource into them. Eventually, they're all going to get to 200. So, hey, the next one is Realty Income. Uh, this is most popular one. Everybody who's in uh, dividend investment pretty much own it. Uh, the price, it dropped as low as, you know, uh, well, I forgot what, how low it was. I think it was like $46, something like that. I forgot what it was. Um, I bought a lot out of the 10 share. I bought a lot in the 48 uh, category. Let's let's look at it real quickly uh, the lot detail here. Yeah, so I started with $56 back in September and it went to 54 and I tracked it down in September and October hit 49 and I bought it and I yeah you know, no I bought 48. So essentially I just bought one share. I'm not sure what I was thinking a lot. Uh, I just bought one share each as I, it went down and I bought one share today. Uh, not yes not today a couple of days ago. Wow, I'm all over the place. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is this is what happened when you don't script. But I, in my mind, I thought I bought it, you know, yesterday. But I got confused between this one and MO. This is what happened when you have so many, uh, you know, asset that you have to manage. Uh, ADC similar to uh, to ticker O. It went up today, so I'm not going to buy because it's all green across the board. In other words, the price is more than my cost average, so I'm not I'm I'm done touching it until the price drops down again. LTC LTC the same situation. Uh, essentially, the price is close to my cost share. Essentially, a little bit more. I don't know why I said plus seven here, uh, but uh, Diane Shipping. Um, you know, I was trying to average this down. I actually put a bid for Diane Shipping for three dollar and twenty something cents. I I can't remember. I think it was twenty cents even. It never went down, it went back up, so I never get a chance to bought it. That that purchase order is still out there. So if it drop, I will own 48 shares. So I bought 24 more, so, uh, I'm sorry, I bought 48 more. Uh, so I'm gonna get roughly almost 100 share uh, if that purchase went all, went through. So I'm still waiting on that to go through. MPW, I'm pretty much done buying MPW because it's all green across the board. My average is 510, I'm good. And I got 34 shares. I'm not going to do anything until the price comes down again. Um, if it doesn't come down, this is the stock bargain state. At some point, at some point in the future, uh, maybe next year or so, I'm probably going to buy this and get to 200 shares. I do like MPW a lot. I'm not going to sell. Well, any of these stocks here, I'm not going to sell. Uh, Norton uh, NAT, this is the shipping company. I bought this way back. I bought five shares. Let me just show you real quickly here. I bought this five shares way back in September 18 for $3.79. It has never dropped to $3.79, and so I have not added anything onto it. But eventually what's going to happen, uh, the next dip, I'm going to buy you know 200 shares right off the bat, all right? uh, and just, just buy it and then never touch again. I want to own 200 shares across uh, every single of these platforms. That's the goal. And um, AG&C AG also went up. 
past my average. Uh, my average is 757. Now it's 818, so it's good. Uh, it is a good company to own. I don't have any problem with this company. Orchard Island. Orchard Island, I'm probably going to sell it. I'm not a big fan of Orchard Island to start out with. I'm not sure why I bought it. Uh, maybe because I saw the 12 cents. Um, you know, at, at this point right now, I'm not. I'm. I'm just in limbo. Should I buy it? Uh, should I just sell it? Um, so the the price difference here, I do want to bring it down. I do want to buy six dollars and eighty cents. I probably end up buying it tomorrow uh, because my last purchase was six dollars and forty one cents. So I may just what I what I probably do tomorrow is the price is going up right now. So it's not a good time to buy it. But however, it's going to continue going up. So I'm probably going to put a purchase order for 20 share, which is another $128 or so, 19, and then $130 or so. And that will bring this average to $7 and something cents. And uh, that will be my last purchase, you know, uh, for Orchard Island. And I, I'm i debating because I'm thinking about selling. I, I was just going to get rid of it. And uh, so that, that was my initial plan. And, uh, Cross Timber Royalty Trust. Um, there's another one I probably end up selling this. Uh, also, I I don't know why I bought, I bought into these trusts. Beat the heck of me. I haven't really updated this in the street shares. Good. I wanna I wanna improve good. So eventually I'm gonna buy good. Uh, Gladstone. This is commercial real estate. Uh, REIT. I I do wanna own this. I don't have any problem owning up to 200 shares. That's it. Um, MDV. I'm probably gonna sell MDV. I only have two shares. But when I bought it, it was $12.65. I haven't improved ever since because it went up after that and never came back down. So I'm probably going to sell this uh, for gain, you know. Uh, PSEC. Now, the only reason I own PSEC because it paid the third week. This is one of those satellite company to supplement uh, the third week gap that I don't have. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably end up selling PSEC also. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up buying uh, Spy Eye. In place of that third week, I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to buy Spy Eye. Probably, probably the summer of 2024. Once I get QQY up to the the shares that I want, uh, San Juan. I'm probably going to sell this too. Uh, so PSEC, San Juan, MTR. So all these small unknown company, I'm going to sell all of them, except shipping, except the the major REIT. Uh, REIT. I, I'm definitely going to buy into more other REITs uh, out there. Uh, because I do like those REITs, uh, you know, I want to buy Boston properties. Uh, so there's a lot of company I want to buy. So I'm, I'm going to end up buying a lot of, of them and just, qua so I'm going to go from like mediocre, um, you know, mediocre to quality, quality uh, portfolio. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, that's the goal for next year. The, the stuff I'm talking about here is for January um, you know, 2024. Now, what I'm gonna, what I'm not gonna do is this portfolio is not gonna exceed 10%. So right now it's 5.75. I'm gonna grow to about 10%, and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna balance it that way. Um, and the big balance is gonna be with Tesla and SoFi. These two are non-dividend stocks, paying stocks. Uh, I'm definitely gonna own a lot more uh, dividend paying stocks. I wanna own Heinz Ketchups. I want to own uh, Verizon, uh, AT and T. I do want to own Ford. Uh, so I want to own all those quality companies. A lot of people don't like Ford. I like, I like Ford a lot. Of, I mean, besides Tesla, I like Ford. Uh, you know, if there was no Tesla, Ford would dominate this whole thing. And so, uh, so, but I do like Ford a lot. And um, I probably end up buying Neo. Uh, you know, and and some of the Chinese company, Asian company out there too. There's a lot of company I want to own. I have a whole list of company I want to buy. I just I just never get to it because I I rather put my money in income ETF and generate more income. All right. So speaking of that, let's look at all the in income ETF. The sole purpose of this thing is to generate more income. All right. That's that's essentially the sole purpose of it. And uh, and that, so 90 percent right now is ninety four percent because I'm going to grow. So essentially, 9% of my entire portfolio, it's going to go in income. The other 10% is going to be in common stocks, okay? Uh, let me just sort it this way. Uh, I'm going to sort it this way so it's easy, uh, so it's easy to understand. So uh, COF, I probably end up selling COF. I don't really need COF. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sell COF. I'm going to buy more CLM. I'm going to combine those, combine those two and, and just put all my money in CLM. 
I don't I don't know why I need to get two of them. It's just it's just silly, um, and you know because one shot swap doesn't drip anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, yeah, so I just need one. I don't really care. I do like them. The reason I like them because the study, it's a study Eddie. It's always giving me the same you know amount every single day. I'm probably gonna own a thousand share of that. That's gonna give me roughly 120 dollars. You know that's that's pretty much it. And so. I don't need to own more, just $120 good enough, and that will supplement my clip. So because my clip, I want to get my clip to $1,000 in any market condition. Currently, my clip is uh, with $1,300 share. That means clip dividends has to be $0.80 cents or higher. So if clip dividends drop below $0.80, cents, it's not going to make $1,000. So as a result, I got I to gotta, I, I gotta get my satellite to go up and help out. Okay? XRMI uh, is one of the newer fund I bought five and it just went up right away and uh, so when the price drop down in the next purchase I'm gonna buy more SVOL another company that support clip so CLM, COF, CLM, SVOL uh, it's only, I only have two share because when I bought it the price the price really didn't drop and so it just dropped recently and I'm off only really by 31 cents I'm off only by a few cents that's why I didn't buy it but eventually what's going to happen, once I get my good income, I'm going to grow SVOL uh, to about roughly, um, uh, you know, $300, maybe not a 1,000 share, but maybe just uh, 200 shares and that's it. And that will give me roughly, you know, uh, you know $60, something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know what 200 shares is, get, get me about $60. All right, and then... XYLD, I only two share. This is very expensive. Uh, XYLD is a good, good, you know, good ETF, and um, you know, it's anything over twenty dollar is very expensive for me because I can get a lot of things cheaper than twenty dollar. So, but I, I do want to own. I don't know how much I'm going to grow XYLD. I probably, I probably grow up, to, grow it to a hundred, and this is going to be a slow grow. It's going to take me like five years before it reach a hundred. I mean, I'm no rush. I'm only going to buy this when it's like drop down and I'll buy on the dip, you know, there's no rush. QYLD, I don't mind growing QYLD to 200 shares and, uh, you know, just keep working on it and they pay a good, you know, 16 cents dividends. Um, you know, same thing as all YLD. Every time the price drop, I'm going to jump in and buy it. I'm going to grow it to 200 shares also. I did bought today, I bought more TLTW. Essentially, I doubled the number. So I spent $439, uh, not for 200 and something dollars to get four hundred thirty-nine dollar uh, worth of shares, so that's sixteen shares. I bought eight shares, uh, so to grow this, um, I, I this is just for diversification of assets. You know, now I'm on one of the bond fund. In my opinion, the iShare TLTW is the best bond fund out there in the ETF. Uh, someday I'm going to make a video on it. That's just my opinion. Uh, so the next fund that I'm going to grow is essentially Jeppy. And QQY, so QQY is first on the list. So I already max out Clip KLIP. I don't need to buy anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow the satellite now. Uh, I, I'm still going to continue to buy it. So in other words, if this price drop, you know, to low 16 or 15 dollars, I'm definitely going to buy. I got room to buy. I got 200 shares to to buy it, and that will bring the cost average down even even lower. You know, so. Uh, and not cost average the um, the what you call the uh, you know market condition dividends. So if dividends drop below eighty cents, I you know for fifteen hundred you know it it will it will protect that. You know I will it will guarantee me one thousand dollar regardless. Uh, give me a second. Somebody just subscribe. Hey Scott C, uh, thank you so much for subscribing. Like I tell everyone all the time, you don't have to subscribe to my channel, but I but since you did, I, I really appreciate it. You know, I the my rewards is not making money from YouTube. For a long, long time, my YouTube channel was not monetized uh, at all. I just what I'm just I'm just making video uh, for my investment journey. Remember, this is my investment journey, not your investment journey. So if you're upset, you don't like it and stuff like that you're more welcome to go watch somebody else's channel and support them, you know, and subscribe to them. And then, you know, buy their Patreon, buy their eGuy, you know, pay for their Discord, you know, uh, super chat them, do all those things. You know, you don't need to give me money. I, I make pretty good money. 
so you don't need to give me money. So uh, with that, uh, let's let's continue on here. Uh, so clip is 1,300. So if clip ever drop below 16, of course I'm gonna keep buying it. And my max keep my max is gonna be 1,500. Now I'm that's just a cap. Uh, what it means is that um, if there's opportunity to buy, I'm gonna keep buying it. But right now, what I'm gonna do is every time I get dividends uh, from these two. I'm gonna throw it all into QQY. So, uh, so essentially, I'm gonna get three thousand dividends a month, and plus my contribution that I put every month, which is four thousand dollar. So think about four thousand dollar every month is gonna go back into QQY. All right, and I'm excited about this. And uh, and so uh, and QQY, if you put four thousand a month, now I'm planning this out for January. So. Um, so after January, so think about January, I'm going to put $4,000 into QQY. February, I'm going to put $4,000 in QQY. So in March, I'm going to put uh, $4,000 in QQY. That's like $12,000 in there already. So rough, eventually, I'm going to get to 1,000 shares. So if you put $12,000 into a fund within three months, you're going, to get, you're going to get a lot of money. Now, obviously, every time I put in, this, intro, this let me just compound, every time I put money in, uh, I'm gonna get dividends for that month, so that's gonna add on to it also, you know. So we're not even thinking about that, you know. Um, so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get it's gonna get to a thousand dollar pretty quickly. I estimate they're gonna get a thousand a thousand share a thousand dollar worth of share, which is roughly one thousand three hundred share, similar to clip one thousand three hundred share, somewhere around uh, you know June, May or June timeline of 2024. So. So eventually, what's going to happen? I'm going to get two thousand dollars from Tesla, one thousand dollars from Clip, and then one thousand dollars from QQY. And guess what's the next fund I'm going to grow on? I'm going to grow either Rex Share, whatever the new Rex Share that's coming out that I'm waiting, or if not, I'm going to grow Jep Y and X X or M I. In the meantime, whatever bones or whatever extra that I have, I will continue to grow Jep Y and also X or M I. You know all these other funds. Uh, there's another one that that uh, defines own the third one. I forgot the name of it. I Y I W M Y. I just blank out the name. So I, I just did a YouTube video and I blank out the name. But that I'm gonna own that also. The third one. Another fund that I I'm gonna own also is the grand uh, is the new Golden Sa uh, Golden Sack uh, Goldman Sack. I, I forgot the name of the company. Uh, GPIQ or GPIX, so one of those one of those uh, company. I'm I'm gonna own one of them them too. Also, I'm gonna own Spy Eye also. So by the end of this month, I probably buy those companies. Just buy one share, just so as, as a placeholder that I am prepared to own more down the road. All right. So yeah. So I'm gonna own uh, I'm gonna own a lot of Tesla. Like I tell you, anything to do with Tesla, I probably end up I owning that also. So this ETF portfolio is going to grow pretty big. Now, like I said, I don't need to get them to a thousand share, two hundred shares. I'm pretty much tap out. I'm done. You know, then I'm just going to work on some other one. Now, but I do want to get my core uh, fund. Like so, my core fund currently is QQY, Clip, and Tesla. So these three, I don't have a fourth one. That's why I'm crossing my finger for for Rex Share. If Rex Share pay out not the same time as any of these three. The reason I like these three, they, they don't pay at the same time. None of them. QQY pay the first week, and Clip pay the last week, and Tesla pay the middle of the week. All right, so what I'm missing is that middle of the week, the second week, and third week you know, territory. So if I get Rex here to have second, third week, guess what? Now I will have my full fund, and I'm so happy. It will be the happiest day, and then I will grow that fund. So, and, you know, so by the end of 2024, I'm going to have, you know, Almost five thousand dollars of dividends. Is that crazy? I mean, I, I just, just think about. It. I started with zero, and now I'm talking about almost five thousand dollars of dividends um, uh, going uh, going back. So eventually, what's going to happen? I mean, five thousand dollars of dividends. So in two months, I got ten thousand dollars. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, so going to 2025, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. I'm going to start withdrawing those money and pay off. Everything that I own, you know, whatever it is, car payment. I, I just don't need the. Well, first of all, I don't need the money. I'm making good, pretty good salary already, so I don't even know what to do with the five thousand. So I can either reinvest it, keep reinvesting, keep growing, and make it bigger, or I'm just gonna take that money and just start 
uh, just start taking that money because at that point I got to take a look at transition from not working, you know. So I got I got to transition. Just yeah, uh, I, this is this is going to 2025. So so I, that's next next the end of next year. So uh, you know, so it's still we're still a long way, and but now I got to take a look at just withdrawing that money, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Hey, uh, guys, so I hope you get to come and watch my uh, YouTube channels and uh, live stream. Come join the live stream. Uh, but I just did a, a rundown on my portfolio. All right. I really appreciate uh, this. And if you have any questions, uh, just join Discord and ask me questions. Or you can just post the comments. Okay, with that, I want to say thank you. Peace out. Uh, talk to you later, guys. See you later.